What's up, everybody? It's your favorite overproduced character, Sphere Nerd, and today we are looking at the New Age Optimus Prime Legend Scale figure. This is on loan to me, of course, from Robert D., the Legends Master. And we're gonna talk about him. We're gonna briefly compare him to the old Magic Square. I gotta check with Robert to see if he's getting the new Magic Square, which I heard is coming. Maybe I'll hold on to this guy and do a versus. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll cross that bridge when we get there. But until we approach that bridge, we gotta deal with what's at hand, and what's at hand is accessories, specifically hands. You get two additional sets of hands, pointing hands left and right, uh, decoed in the same sort of fashion that we'll talk about as we get to the figure, but are nice, they peg in there. And then you get two kind of relaxed slash posing hands that have an additional hinge at the palm. So, you know, that's in addition to the, the hands that you'll see with the figure here in a second. You get his standard blaster, sculpted accurately with the silver paint accent added to the back. The gun can also peg into the back of roller, and then you can move that piece and have it sort of, as a little, you know, dangerous little roller. He'll hold that just fine. You get the battle axe. Uh, it's an orange translucent plastic, obviously pegs in the same way the hands do. And once the hand is removed, obviously you can just install the axe. You get Roller, it's the gray version, the wheels spin, we have a little red painted accent there at the top. Um, you know, not a whole lot else to talk about other than you can have it in this configuration as well. Now with that piece flipped up, you can also have Roller uh, manipulate the trailer as well. So, if you so desire. And of course, all of those accessories can just be stored in the back of the trailer along with Roller. And the trailer is basically an accessory. And in typical trailer fashion, you got the kind of stabilizers that'll come out both at the sides and at the front. No big deal. We have the back doors that'll open. We have all of this that'll split open. So you can have this. You can have this little fella pop up and do his one, two thing. You know, just your, sta your status quo kind of uh, prime situation. You know, you can sit it like this and have the little command station. You know, just all your standard fare. Uh, you have the ramp here that can come out for the other vehicles. Like, sculpted, looks good, typical, nothing to really write home about, but, you know, everything that you would expect. Um, in an Optimus Prime trailer offering. Now, in regard to this piece specifically, you do have a hinge at the base, a secondary hinge, and then a ball peg at the top, so you should be able to get it to express itself or remote fairly well. You have a little antenna, obviously. You have, um, I'm just gonna pull this whole, this whole piece comes off, but you can have just the cockpit up as well. And this entire piece will come off as well. Uh, so you can remove that. You can come to the bottom here and remove this, and then, three males three females sounds like a good time to me and get that together and now you have the little gizmo here if you so desire and if you rather than not all rattle around you can put some stuff in here just sort of as space and logistics allow and peg that back into the bottom of the trailer and now you have a separate little storage unit for those so uh tons of options which is nice now to connect it it's basically this circle has a lip that fits inside of those two crescents and then you just plug it in and it'll stay which is pretty sweet and of course you cannot have an optimus prime without a matrix right so there's the matrix it's painted it comes out i'm not gonna mess with it you've seen it done a thousand times actually according to a conversation i just had on patreon you've seen it done about 35 times this will be 36 and then you can close this up as well and keep it hidden just works exactly like you'd expect it to and gimmicks wise, these doors do open um, on both sides. And there is a seat, it looks like in here, formed by his fist. But it also looks like there's a seat for roller and for the little kind of drone thing. So they might just be planning on making little figures later down the line. And you start off with alt mode. And I think it works pretty well. The grill here, I guess you could straighten it out and it's fine. Um... You know, I think it, what I mean, what more do you want? You know, it's small, but so are legends. Rolls like a champ. We have the nice paint down here. There's a lot of paint on this on this product in general, so that doesn't hurt anything. Uh, pretty clean underneath, you know? Red uh, brake lights there. Silver paint. 
accents. I don't know. Nothing else really to say about it, in my opinion, except to see it next to Tiger Tracks. All right, let's get it transformed. And we're going to start by unpegging the fuel tanks, saddlebags, if you will, out from the side, and then flip those around. Then you can separate the leg. I'm trying to remember how this goes here. Open this flap up, unpeg the foot, and then extend all of this. And let's see. Bring this down. Or uh, get the heel out. And then you want to spin. Oh, this fuel tank here. Is that in focus? Flips to the inside. And then you want to spin this section 180. And then tab all this in. It's a little tricky to get it lined up properly. And then this piece comes down and grabs there. And actually, there's this one piece here that needs to flip to the inside as well. And I'll try to do this a little bit cleaner on the, uh, on the next one. But you get the general idea there. All right, I'm going to do the second leg much better, I promise. So open this flap, open this flap, unpeg the foot, and extend. And also spin the foot around 180, and then flip out the heel spur. Now, you also need to flip up this fuel tank, and then spin at the bottom of the knee... 180 around and then this peg is going to insert itself into that port and it's actually somewhat tricky surprisingly so to have it lined up just right and the reason why is because of this series of hinges here so we're gonna do our best and it's not quite right so I'll have to clean it up in post. But we're going to bring this piece down, spin it 180, open up this flap, and tuck the circle piece that holds the trailer to the inside of the flap so that that will tuck behind this cutout here. And then this piece swings around and grabs a hold of that peg. And there you have it. Now, the only thing left to do, obviously, is make sure that the fuel tanks are on the outside um, so that he looks, you know, the most iconic he can. And there you have the lower legs done. All right, just like we talked about with the gimmicks, open these doors. We had to make the whole chest sort of, well, the whole cab sort of explode, so to speak. Make sure that you pull this out just to taste so that you can get the arms free. They're pegged in to the side of the forearm. So you have to wiggle them out and then extend them. And then intuitively, there'll be one little flap here to flip. So same on this side. Unpeg. Flip out. One little flap to flip. All right, let's do some ugly stuff. So fold the windows down. We'll just kind of streamline some of this. Fold these windows down. You can get the butt flap. Out. It's on a double hinge, so pull it out and then tuck it down. Hmm. And then we'll get the head out and we'll fix this backpack. So you can extend this. These pieces on the side come up and spin around. And then you just need to manipulate this back so that you can get access to the head. Flip up, you see the hinge that needs to spin all the way around. And then you can put that back because that pretty much stays there. This piece will just leave straight for now. All right, now we'll get the kind of front of the chest sorted. In order to do so, we're going to spin 
the arms around 180 and both sides we're going to bring this chest up tuck these pieces in And I say as I do as I say, not as I do. Just tuck those pieces in and then rotate them towards the center so that they'll sit nice and flat there. And then this chest piece, we need to spin the window section and then spin this around so that it sits on the front to make the kind of faux chest that people feel a way about right all right now we can see he's facing backward so we'll spin him around and we need to have it so that these pieces here flip up and form the flank uh so just orient them so that they're facing with like the gray towards the bottom and the top use like all of the engineering that makes up his abdomen and as you collapse it flip it up and that'll sit everything kind of proper which is pretty cool uh this down arms down i can't put my arms down flip the backpack down and then sit this piece up underneath i believe and I think it's supposed to be kind of at 90 degrees. So be mindful because there's a number of moving hinges there. And, uh, I mean, that's him in a nutshell. I'll clean him up. We'll take a look at him. And we'll start with the head. I think it's a pretty good head sculpt. Very cartoon accurate. The eyes are painted well uh, with, like, a metallic blue. The blue is painted. The gray is painted. Looks good. It's on a ball peg. The ball peg is on a hinge. You don't get much else out of it, but you don't need it. You can have him looking all the way up. Um, you can even extend that panel up and then rotate it so that you can kind of cheat and get him looking down, but it works well. Plus the swivel and the slightest bit of confused prime look, but not really. Then we have the shoulders. They are on universals that get you out slightly past 90 degrees, plus the swivel around, and a little bit of a butterfly, but barely recognizable. Bicep swivels cut just above the elbow and the elbow is a single hinged elbow that gets you 90 degrees and the wrists are on a swivel where they plug into the forearm now on top of that you do get this additional hinge here for transformation but it's just kind of cumbersome more so than it is actually helpful uh we do have tons of paint on this guy uh i mean it's everywhere so keep that in mind as well uh waist swivel no issues there ab crunch 90 degrees forward reverse ab crunch too but it breaks up the skull but i think it's worthwhile uh, articulations for the arms the same as the one we just previously mentioned hip skirts get up and out of the way nice yellow paint there yellow isn't the nicest color to paint on a figure but when it's going on top of white plastic it's gonna work like a champ and this is no exception we get uh, universals basically for hips that get you out for the full Van Damme and the full Monty so no issues there thigh swivel we'll back out so we can see a little bit more of the figure uh, nice sculpt work down in here nice paint work and sculpt work up in here i feel like i would like this all to sit a little tighter but that may be my my misdoings but it seems like it should sit a little tighter uh sculpt work on the thighs we talked about the thigh swivel if not there it is double jointed knee get you the full run so no issues there nice silver paint on the fuel tank on the side and then we have an ankle tilt up an ankle tilt down and a rocker on a ball peg uh, you also get a heel uh, tilt as well for uh, additional stabilization so that should actually come in handy so i mean for the scale and size of this figure it's pretty magnificent in all honesty size comparison wise there it is with the magic square prime the old one and it's it's far more sophisticated uh, there are still things about the magic square that i prefer but it's far 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 more sophisticated and looks much more kind of current there it is with new age megatron and iron factory new scale tarn so i think fits in perfectly with your new age line and of course we respect tradition around here so there he is with our usual suspects the old school iron factory scale blaster and a hasbro stunicon legend scale figure 
Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. My biggest negative is the kind of chest and abdomen and all mine don't sit together tight. That could very well be something that I've done wrong. I'm willing to accept that. It's a loner. I don't always push loners to their full limits, especially when I've already broken two or three figures this year and we're only in the second or third month. The faux chest doesn't bother me. How far the faux chest pops out does bother me. Just proportionately, it kind of puts me off a little bit. I think if they would have done away with the housing for the matrix, they could have streamlined it a little bit and thus made the figure look a little bit sleeker. I feel like everything about this Optimus Prime looks very sleek with the exception of the chest. And honestly, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you, I, dude, I think that's all I got, man. Final thoughts wise, the sculpt is on the money with the exception of the proportions of the chest. The paint is on the money. The articulation is on the money, although I do wish we had double jointed elbows. It comes with tons of accessories. They're all appropriate, even if the Matrix does cause more hindrance than help, in my opinion. There's tons of gimmicks built into the thing, all of which are appropriate to the character. The materials feel good. The joints hold up well. There's die cast in it. The transformation is intricate, but not frustrating. All in all, a super, super, super strong release. And as a result, a strong recommend from me. Thanks for listening. Listener, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.